The testicles, located outside the body due to temperature sensitivity, have two basic functions. They produce testosterone and sperm. The inside of the testicle is made up of millions of hollow seminiferous tubules. Their walls are comprised of reproductive cells in various stages of development. Sperm production starts with a large round immature cell, the spermatogonia, that divides and undergoes a multi-step, 72-day maturation process until it becomes a sperm cell with a head and a tail. Sperm are released and enter the epididymis where they are stored. During an ejaculation, the sperm are brought up through the vas deferens and prostate where they mix with seminal vesicle fluid to form semen. Normally, the seminiferous tubules continuously produce millions of sperm. In the abnormal testicle, sperm may be found in small amounts in some of the tubules. Azoospermia, or the condition of no sperm in the ejaculate, is due to either a blockage in the reproductive tract or a deficiency in sperm production. Sperm harvesting techniques have been designed to address these different scenarios based on the patient's condition. When there is a blockage, sperm can be removed from the epididymis via a procedure called microsurgical epididymal sperm aspiration or MESA. There are a number of ways to get sperm from the epididymis, but we developed the in-office MESA as a relatively painless and minimally invasive procedure performed under local anesthesia. Sperm-containing fluid is collected from the epididymal tubules under magnification. The tiny incision is closed with dissolving stitches and a Band-Aid. Sometimes the sperm from the epididymis are not very good quality, in which case they are removed directly from the testicle through the same small incision. The best way to find sperm when there is a production problem is called microsurgical testicular sperm extraction. Because sperm are not produced in all areas of the testicle, magnifying the seminiferous tubules using a powerful operating microscope allows the surgeon a better chance of finding sperm. This is an outpatient procedure performed through a small incision that opens the cover of the testicle. The most normal looking tubules are removed and opened in a petri dish and examined for sperm. If there are no sperm, then other areas are explored until sperm are found. In rare situations, there is no sperm production at all. The incision is then closed with dissolving sutures and a band-aid is placed. The chance of finding sperm with microtessi is better than 60%, twice the chances of finding sperm by non-microsurgical or needle biopsies taken by general urologists. Microtessi is a great advance in male reproductive surgery, but is only performed by a small number of male reproductive surgeons. Some surgeons make unnecessarily large incisions in the scrotum and the testicle. We have focused on improving minimally invasive techniques, making this an easier procedure to recover from. The good news is most men will have sperm found using this technique and can become fathers.